Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. What an incredible Monday it has been, serving you with so much when it comes to food, when it comes to nutrition, your health, your movement. But let's dive a little bit deeper, right? Because every year, millions of people around the globe commit to eating healthy with the goal of losing weight. And this has given rise to hundreds of diets, which range from the scientific to, I think, the downright absurd, to say the least. So you to help us understand this world of nutrition and maybe avoid some of the dangerous fair diets that are out there. We have registered dietitian Kim Hoffman in the building. Kim, it's always a pleasure to have you here to allow us to sift through all the chaos, give us some clarity. But firstly, let me say good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm very well. Thank you so much for inviting me to yeah. talk about fair diets. I yes, love this topic. Because <laughs> there's so many of them. So <laughs> Too let's many. Just, yeah, let's just cut straight back to the beginning. What is a fair diet? And maybe you can give us an example of what some of these fair diets are, just that we're all on the same page. Yeah. So a fair diet is basically a diet that promotes unrealistic results, such as mm. fast weight loss. Mm. And there's no good scientific evidence to prove these um, claims. Mm -hmm. They tend to be extremely restrictive in calories and also food foods, often cutting out whole food groups. And they also tend to be quite expensive in mm. that you have to buy specific products, ingredients, or often supplements. Like just eat steak for 30 days. Uh, something and like you that. won't have any fat in your body. Yeah, because I haven't eaten anything for months. Correct. <laughs> so some of these examples, good ones that we know, is the Atkins diet, yeah. the South Beach diet, the Zone diet, the cabbage soup diet, the grapefruit mm. diet. It, you can literally name so many. And, and it's fair to say that ideally we want to steer clear of this yes, and yes, adopt yes. more of a <laughs> lifestyle maybe than... 100%. Okay. On top of this though, also it's not just like in terms of like chewing and eating, but also juicing has become a really big thing, especially when it comes to juicing and cleansing. So a lot of juice uh, cleansers are out yeah. there. I see these hyping up on social media. Everybody's recommending just this pomegranate juice for 10 days, whatever. Do they actually work? Is there justification behind this? Okay, so a juice diet is basically you're only taking in juices from vegetables and fruits yeah. for the duration of whatever that diet Theoretically is. sounds okay. I mean, is, isn't there nutrition in that? No? Well, vegetables and fruit, fantastic mm -hmm. food, yes. They do claim that they remove toxins from the body and help with weight loss. Okay. But if we look at it, they are extremely low in calories, which is why the weight loss happens, but it also causes your blood sugars to get very low, Ooh. and that causes you to get dizzy, to faint, to be weak to get headaches, to have extreme hunger. They're also not balanced. They don't contain any protein or fat. And so long-term, these can cause malnutrition. Mm. And then the whole detoxification process in the body, the liver and kidneys are doing it constantly for us. We don't need to specifically give them something to do it. Um, they, but that detoxification process requires quite a lot of energy. And so if you're eating a diet that's very low in calories, the detoxification process actually doesn't happen sufficiently. And some studies have even shown that there's more toxins that result once you, if you're on a diet that is too oh, low wow. calories. And, and essentially that's because you're not allowing your body to be able to actually function properly yes. because you're yes. not fueling it properly, yeah. right? Our bodies actually need so much more energy than we realize. The base of what our bodies need is just to run the system. So if you're lying in bed doing nothing all day, you need a decent amount of energy. Yeah. And then we need extra energy to think and work and learn and play and exercise and move. So our bodies need a lot of energy and when we cut that, it just learns how to function on less. Wow. But that slows down your metabolism. And eventually it'll catch up. And yes, um, if your metabolism is working slowly, then if any excess is given, it just holds on, which is why there's that weight cycling where people lose weight on the diet and then regain it as soon as they well, go so you're off the diet. you're actually causing more potential risk of picking so up weight because your body's like in this survival mode. So correct, when you correct. do eventually give it fat, it's just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to hold on to this as and best I can. And we've seen these diets work well when you're in your 20s, when you're doing them for the first time. But by the time you're in your 40s and 50s, they don't really work anymore and yeah. then people get panicky and go more extreme so okay. it's very dangerous from a body physiological perspective all right so maybe let's be more practical about this because it definitely sounds like uh, we've highlighted some of the risks and the dangers mm. and maybe let's talk about some of the things we should do and that's obviously getting a balanced diet so when it comes to something like someone trying to lose weight yes you're obviously recommending still have your macros but correct have a more balanced diet, what, what would that entail? I mean, can I still have uh, various foods, or some of my favorite foods, like if I, if I love a yogurt as an example, yeah. can I still incorporate that into my 100%. diet? 100%. When you're thinking about how to eat correctly, um, you have to think balance. Mm. Your body needs 
carbohydrates for energy, proteins, fats, vegetables. It requires all of those. And so most meals that you have should have all of those components. Okay. If we look at carbohydrates, good examples are your starchy veg. Please don't demonize the potato. <laughs> potatoes, <laughs> sweet potatoes, but um, your millies and peas, butternut. Yeah. Your legumes are fantastic carbs. Your starches. Here we do want to choose the whole grains because that does have more nutrition in it. Mm -hmm. Um, also fruit, as well as yogurt and milk, fantastic okay. carbohydrates for the body. And then we've also got the groups, the breads, the crackers, the cereals. We've got to be a little bit more careful. We can make really good decisions. We can also make very poor decisions. And then for the carbs, we've got the treats um, or the super processed, ultra processed foods. They don't bring much nutrition to the body. They're very delicious and so we don't cut them out. Um, but then we don't choose them as often. All right. For proteins, we can choose things like fish, eggs, cheese, chicken, red meat, um, soya, legumes as well. Milk and yogurt also okay, give nice. protein, so All that's right. why that is a fantastic so snack. A lot of people have. trying milk and, and using it after workout, yes, during workout. It's, it's actually, actually quite a... known to be the best after workout ah. or even before workout. And the amount of protein in it is sufficient for what the body needs to okay. grow the muscle. Well, look, that doesn't sound all doom and gloom you no, talk about this dieting thing, especially <laughs> if we're not talking about fair diets. There's still so much There's good so food much we can good, incorporate yeah. in this. I think that's where the the problem comes in when you, people go on fad diets, they start believing that there's good and bad foods. And if we stop demonizing foods and see all foods as part of an eating plan, eating more of those that bring goodness to the yes. body and don't harm the body, and less of those that mm, bring more joy to the mouth than the body, <laughs> yeah. then we've got the balance and we will feel better. We don't have to go extreme yeah. to feel better. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Kim, for coming through. This has been Absolute refreshing, pleasure. perfect for our Monday, <laughs> and I hope perfect for you as well, Mzanzi. I think this means we can definitely ditch the fad diets and rather embrace food freedom by eating balanced meals and maybe consulting with a dietitian. Kim's on standby if you need her and many others. And if you have more complex goals and needs, then they definitely can assist you. Now, healthy options lead to healthy choices. So maybe try to maintain a fridge stocked with delicious and nutritious choices that you actually love. Don't make it hard for yourself. Now, one of our favorite snacks is Clover's brand new double cream plain yogurt which is a fantastic staple that will give you all the goodness you need and keep fueling yourself and feeling feeling fuller for longer so ticking two boxes there and did we mention the taste too and of course everything else that comes with it so I hope you inspired I hope this Monday has sorted you out to be motivated for even more because that's what this is all about well done Kim thank you so much <laughs> thank you <laughs> double cream plain yogurt from Clover just plain amazing